Now student here is the question number 35. Maximum limiting molar conductivity among the following ions at 298 Kelvin is of. In this question you should just remember the fact that H plus ion has exceptionally high value of the limiting molar conductivity. For that I just want to show you this data here. Have a look. See we have these ions which are asked in this question and the limiting molar conductivity values are also given here and all of these values are here in same in centimeter square mole inverse. Now the question is which has the maximum limiting molar conductivity value H plus sign? What may be the reason? The very simple reason for the same is this small size of H plus ion in aqueous solution it gets hydrated and it forms hydronium ion. That hydronium ion has the nature to join with other water molecules with the help of hydrogen bonding and due to that it has very high limiting molar conductivity value. Basically the conductivity increases there and on the basis of this I can just choose the correct option as the option 1 and that will give you the full marks. Now the turn is there for question number 36 for the reaction 3O2 to give you 2O3 both the reactant and the products are in gaseous phase. Now the rate of the formation of ozone is 2.4 into 10 raise to the power minus 3 mole per liter per second. What is the rate of disappearance of O2 in mole per liter per second? So first of all in this question we need to just consider the given reaction and with the help of that we can consider the rate of the reaction also. So in this case what I am just going to consider first of all as per the given reaction have a look on that reaction you can simply see and simply identify that O2 was getting disappeared and ozone was prepared there. So we can write the rate of the reaction as 1 by 3 d O2 by dt and it is getting disappeared that is why minus should be equal to the rate of the formation of O3. So there would be 1 by 2 and it should be plus d O3 by dt this way. Now you just want to find out the rate of the disappearance of O2. How this is getting disappearance? What is the rate of the disappearance of O2 that we need to find out? So what we need to do here we can simply write here d O2 by dt it should be equal to 3 by 2 d O3 by dt. Now in this question this d O3 by dt it means the rate of formation of O3 is given but the rate of disappearance of oxygen you need to find out. So this can be calculated with the help of this value and this value is clearly given here 2.4 into 10 raise to the power minus 3 mole per liter per second. So what I am just going to do here I am just going to place the value here minus d O2 by dt that is the rate of disappearance of oxygen is equal to 3 by 2 into 2.4 into 10 raise to the power I need to just check the value once again that is 2.4 into 10 raise to the power minus 3. Now just to solve this what value you will get 3.6 into 10 raise to the power minus 3. So this is basically the rate of disappearance of oxygen what would be the unit? Mole per liter per second this would be the value. Now the turn is here to find out the correct answer. Where this is given just check the given values. 
you will see that in option 2 the correct value is given. So, just highlight it and choose it as the correct option. I hope it is clear. Now, the turn is for the next question that is question number 37. Select an incorrect statement regarding catalyst. If I talk about catalyst, it does not participate in the reaction, but yes, it enhances the rate of reaction. It alters the rate of reaction. Now, let's check the statements. A catalyst does not change Gibbs free energy of a reaction. Very true. If I talk about the catalyst, it does not change the Gibbs free energy of a reaction. It only lowers the activation energy. Right? Now, on the basis of this, the statement is correct. But we need to find out the incorrect statement. Next is, a catalyst does not alter equilibrium constant of reversible reaction. Very true. Catalyst does not affect the equilibrium constant of the reversible reaction. And that is why this is also the correct statement. It provides an alternative path for the reactant. Yes, by lowering the activation energy, it is doing so. So, this statement is also correct. It helps a non-spontaneous reaction to start. It neither starts a reaction nor initiate a reaction. It means you cannot say that it helps a non-spontaneous reaction to start. This is wrong statement. And if this is a wrong statement, it becomes our correct answer. Yes, I will choose this as my correct answer and that is option 4. So, this option 4 becomes my correct answer and the turn is there for the next question. That is question number 38.